Hello guys and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of spy sunglasses I bought off eBay for $20. Basically these things are just a pair of sunglasses with camera built in smack dab in the middle. Today we're going to be testing out if they are any good. So I'm going to start out with an unboxing, then we'll take a closer look at everything and I have a montage with a ton of test footage in it. Also if you want to check out the unedited versions of the uh, test footage, uh, the link will be in the description. I will have them up on my website so you guys can go ahead and download all the AVI and all the uh, unedited JPEGs and all that good stuff. And then after that, I'll wrap the video up with my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. I have to warn you guys, I was really tired when I uh, did this unboxing. It was like 11 o'clock at night, right after I got back from school. Uh, I just finished an assignment, now he's dead. But you know what, I really wanted to unbox him, so uh, cut me some slack here. Oh man, guys, this is going to be another one of those unboxings where I am absolutely exhausted. It's the end of the day, it's been a long day, and just pardon me if I go all over the place with this, but I got got this in the afternoon when I came home to grab some lunch. I saw it in the mail. I really wanted to take it out of the box, but unfortunately I didn't have time to. I'm not even sure what this is because I ordered a couple things off eBay and the tracking numbers are all, you know, wonky and I have no idea what's going on regarding this. So this might be... You know, I'm not going to spoil I'm not going to spoil it. Well, actually, it's already in the title. So this might be a pair of glasses with a camera built in or it might be... A, uh, something something else. Uh, I don't want to spoil that either, so I'm going to try not to spoil too much. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to make sure uh, this is in the frame. It's just in one of those, you know, United States Postal Office bag things. I forget what they call these exactly. Does this say on the box what they call these? Oh, some kind of bag. I, I, I'm not going to ramble on too long. All right. Okay, so these are the, uh, well, right here, HT video camera sunglasses. Uh, XL Van, I guess is the name, just a generic uh, Chinese product right there. Just one of your generic names. Once again, guys, I'm super tired, so give me a break here. I'm, try I'm trying to think of stuff to say. I'm just like, oh, I wanna open a box and then, you know, end this video and go to bed. <laughs> so let's see if this thing arrived in one piece. So what exactly are we gonna get here? Oh, it's in, uh, there's a nice little uh, carrying case in there, but there's a uh, USB cable right here. So it's just USB to what looks like uh, micro USB. And then the uh, glasses themselves come uh, in a nice little case. I didn't realize that uh, when I bought it. And then there's directions right here. We're probably gonna need these because the way uh, you have to set these up is kind of complicated. There's like a, a sequence of the same button you have to push over and over again. So I'll definitely have to look into that to figure out how to work this. I'm gonna take these out. It's in a nice plastic bag, all wrapped up. Uh, there's a little cleaning cloth. That's all nice. You know what? I thought these were gonna feel ultra cheap. By the way, guys, I pulled these off eBay for 20 bucks and you know, they don't feel too bad. Now they are incredibly light um, and they do uh, bend to my hands quite a bit. Wow, you know what? Now that I think of it, uh, after I you know held these for a couple seconds, they are pretty light and they do seem, you know, slightly cheap, um, but they're not as bad as I thought they would be. And that hole for the camera right here, that's where the camera uh, is uh, actually shooting out from, uh, isn't too noticeable. I was afraid that'd be like really obvious uh, because I want to use these for garage sales. I would like to put these on and just kind of walk around and uh, check out all the products and take you guys with me. And you know, it's really discreet. They look like sunglasses. It's really nice. So uh, here are the sunglasses. Here's everything that came with the package. I'm gonna call it a night, guys. And then I'll uh, finish this video over the weekend. As you can see, I just got done trying to do an unboxing with these glasses on and it didn't really go too well. The camera in these tends to shoot a little bit high, so the whole time the box was way out of shot and I just decided not to include it in this video clip. But now you can actually get a first look at the video and audio quality. The video quality, I went back and looked at it, it's actually pretty decent. Now there is some noise obviously there, um, and there is some small artifacting here and there every once in a while. So it's not the clearest thing in the world, uh, but it is decent for $20. Now, what I was doing an unboxing on, and I'm, I'm hoping this is actually coming up in the camera because now I'm like holding things up high so it actually makes it into the frame. But what I was actually doing the unboxing on was the Silicon Power 32 gigabyte SD card. So here's that 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Hopefully that's showing up in the uh, camera frame. I'm about to swap this out into these glasses. I will have a review on this on my website. Not going to make a video, so if you want to check that out, link will be in the description. 
Here's a closer look at everything right here. We have the glasses, the user manual, the USB cable, the cleaning cloth, and the carrying case. I'm going to start out with the simplest thing here. Let's take a look at the cleaning cloth. It cleans the glasses. It's not going to tear apart in your hands. Gets the job done. End of story. Really don't have much else to say about that. USB cables, pretty much the same situation. You really can't go wrong with this, and they haven't. Plug it into your computer. It gets the job done. Transfer data. Charges the glasses. All good. So, move that to the side. That's A-OK. -okay. We have the user user manual right here. This is a slightly different story. It gives you all the basic information that you need, like how to put an SD card uh, into the glasses and how to actually start taking video and pictures, but that's really all it tells you. I'm not sure if you can actually change the video settings uh, as in change the resolution or change maybe the image resolution or frame rate because once again, it doesn't say it in the manual. So if anyone knows if you can actually change the uh, resolution of the video to maybe something like WVGA, uh, I think that's 480 by 640 or something like that, uh, go ahead and post a message method in the comment section or maybe a link to a better manual because once again this isn't giving you too much information gets the job done but it doesn't give you all that other stuff that I would like to know about uh, so I'm going to move that to the side then we have the carrying case. This is probably the most solidly built thing here. This is going to keep your glasses safe and it needs to keep your glasses safe because they are quite flimsy despite what I said when I first took it out of the box. Uh, my opinion of these glasses has degraded just slightly uh, since I have been using them for the past three days. You know, they're definitely on the cheaper side. They're not super cheap. They're not just going to randomly start, you know, disintegrating in your hands. But, you know, you can see they are pretty flimsy and they are something you have to be careful with. I wasn't using the carrying case earlier. I had these in my backpack and every time I would lean up against the wall, I would just freak out because the first thing that came to mind was, oh God, I just crushed those glasses and I looked in my backpack and thank God they were on one piece because I forgot the carrying case. Um, but yeah, definitely something you have to be careful with. At this point, I'm just going to give you guys a quick demo on how to perform some basic tasks with these glasses. If you don't want to watch it, guess what? This is a video and you can skip through this part. I just thought it might be helpful to some people. So for charging, you could use pretty much any 5 volt source. These glasses don't actually come with a charger. They come with a cable, which in turn can use pretty much any 5 volt USB port. Uh, that means you could use a battery bank, the USB ports on your desktop or laptop, or a phone charger that outputs 5 volts. So, we're going to plug it into my USB battery bank and then just plug it into the glasses and voila, the glasses are charging as indicated by that red light right here. Once that light turns a solid blue, you can go ahead and unplug your glasses. They are fully charged. Now to turn your glasses on, all you have to do is hit this little button on the left arm right here. So there's one little button on the entire assembly. It's the only button on the glasses. So you're going to go ahead and just hold it down for two seconds. Let go. That blue light is going to come on and then to start recording a video, you go ahead and hold down for another two seconds. The light should start blinking and that means you are in business. You are now recording video. To take a picture using these glasses, it's a similar story. Go ahead and power the glasses on again by holding that button down for two seconds. Let go. That blue light should come on and just hit it once to take a picture. The blue light should blink. That means your picture has been taken. Once again, I'll show you guys again. Just hit it, let go, and there you go. We just snapped another photo. Now you don't have to worry about powering these off on your own. They will auto shut off after 10 seconds without use. So that is a nice feature actually because I forget to turn stuff like this off all the time. Now for storage, you can use pretty much any micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes in size. Right here I have a 32 gigabyte silicon power micro SD card in the glasses and that is what I have been using to record footage. Now be careful with this because once you put the SD card in, uh, you really can't get it out. I've been struggling for the past five minutes to get this out because according to the manual, these glasses have four gigabytes of built-in flash and I want to test that and I can't test that while this micro SD card is in. But sorry guys, you know, these glasses have beaten me. I cannot remove the micro SD card and I cannot tell you guys if it has four gigabytes of built-in memory. You know, I apologize, but it really got me here because I cannot for, oh my God, I, ca I cannot get that micro SD card out. So yeah, if you want your micro SD card back, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to uh, put some effort into that. So definitely be careful there. Once you put it in, you might not get it back. 
Right now, I just want to talk about a design aspect that may cause problems in the future. And yes, as you guys can see, I have the glasses on right now, just so you guys could get a better idea of what exactly they're going to look like when someone has them on. I'm not going to talk about uh, style too much because that's really a matter of your own opinion, but I do want to address this design aspect. So running from the camera in the front of the glasses to the module built into the arm right here is a ribbon cable. And yes, it does move with the arm. So after, you know, opening and closing this a couple hundred times, that ribbon cable could wear down and you know it might hinder your glasses useless because that ribbon cable could rupture. Now is that horrible? No, you just have to be careful. You know I wouldn't suggest you know, constantly opening and closing this. You might want to be uh, a little bit cautious on how many times you actually uh, open and close these arms. Some people were having issues extracting media from the glasses and I'm not really sure why because for me it was just plug and play. So all you have to do is plug the glasses into the USB port on your PC which I am doing now. Um, this flap is difficult at times to open, so I'm probably going to have to cut it right here. There we go, about time. Finally got it open, and we're going to plug in the glasses, and as you'll see, a dialog box will pop up prompting us to uh, actually scan and fix the device for some reason, which I'm not sure why it's doing. It's like a false positive right there. And then I can go ahead, open up computer, and navigate over to the removable disk, which has all of the video and pictures fi uh, picture files on it, excuse me. And then right here you can see time.txt, that is how you change the date and time on these glasses. And I tried to see if I could get rid of the date and time by actually removing the date and time from this file, but no, that did not yield any results, unfortunately. I'm not really sure how to get rid of that uh, date and time stamp. During this little driving montage at 720p, the video was very smooth. It's shooting close to, if not at, 30 frames per second. As you can see, currently image quality is nice and crisp. There's not too much noise or any sort of artifacting going on right now. That will change when we start to go in lower light conditions, but uh, in the current conditions, the video is actually looking really great. Throughout the entire time I was wearing them, the glasses felt no less comfortable than the sunglasses I wear every single day. I have to say the lenses do filter out light a little oddly, LCDs looked a little strange while wearing the glasses, but that was really the only problem I had with the lenses. Not really sure what they're rated to filter out, so I wouldn't stare directly into the sun with them. Actually, I wouldn't stare directly into the sun with any type of sunglasses. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what the UV rating or uh, anything like that is on these. They're not labeled or anything, so you might want to play it safe there. The blind spot created by these is a little bit larger than what I am used to. I had to turn my head just a little bit further to see the car next to me. Uh, it wasn't too big of a deal, but uh, it, it's not really something that I want to deal with every single day. You know, turning your head that far over and over again uh, does become a bit painful after a while. So yeah, just one of those things that kind of bugged me. It's not too big of a deal, but that's something you might want to keep in mind, especially when you're driving. <laughs> you can see that video quality does degrade just a little bit in low light conditions, and as to be expected from a sensor of this size, uh, there's a little bit more noise in the video and there's also these weird horizontal lines I was actually impressed with the battery life. I was able to film my commute to school. I filmed a little bit of footage on campus and then I filmed like a fourth of my trip back. So in total, the battery lasted an hour and a half on a full charge.
top of video, these glasses are also capable of taking 1280 by 720 JPEGs. I have to say though, that video is definitely where these glasses shine. The pictures come out blurry, out of focus, and you have to try really hard to hold the glasses steady in order to get a decent picture. So there you go, these things did pretty well. Audio quality leaves a little bit to be desired, but besides that, I mean, everything else is okay, and image quality could be a, a bit better as well. It's really hard to hold these studies and uh, hold these study and get a clear image, so that was also something that I found difficult with these. The audio is listenable. If you uh, recorded someone's conversation with these, and I'm not saying you should record anyone's conversation with these, but if you did, you could actually play it back and hear what people are saying, but there's a lot of noise in the background with these. And if anyone has any leads, it's on a better manual please please post a uh, link in the comment section because I have no idea I really want to uh, change some settings with this but I'm not sure if you can and if you can I'm not sure how so that's gonna be about it for this little overview if I left anything out please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to like this video and of course if you're not subscribed to my channel already please do not forget get to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology. If you want to support me, you can use my eBay and Amazon affiliate links in the description. The Patreon is up and there's a couple other methods uh, you can use to support me like PayPal and you can also buy me some coffee. That's uh, up on my website if you want to check that out. That's what keeps this uh, channel running by the way. And uh, anything else? No, I think that's going to be about it. So. I think that's probably going to be the only video this week. I got a lot of stuff, or weekend, I got a lot of stuff going on, so I uh, don't really have time to get anything else out. I'll try, but I'm not promising anything. This is probably going to be the only video this weekend, so sorry, guys. Usually, I get two out. This weekend, it's only going to be one. So, see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology next weekend.